was just following someone. I thought I thought I saw him going here. Just turn around and get out of here. That's what I'm doing. No reason for anyone to get hurt. You're absolutely right. Easy, kid. Hey! I said get going. What's going on? Look. What are you doing with this thing? He was banging on the door like a wild man. You can't keep doing this, Jimmy. You're gonna hurt someone. Better them than us. Did you see his watch? Uh, strange. Doctors in Portland! Some kind of emergency. Maybe you should cancel your meeting today. You know I can't do that. What meeting? Well, my dad has everyone all riled up at the mill for no reason at all. Jimmy, enough. I'm gonna go. Brian will stay here with you while we're out. I gotta go home. Now, you're in no condition to... I'll just be in the way if I stay here. And it's probably best I just go home. But thanks for everything. See you. Strange man. Seemed pretty desperate. Probably looking for a job. Like everyone else after today. You know, son, this is hard enough as it is. I could use your support. Well, I don't even understand why you're doing this. It's important to fight for what's right, son. But we could lose our jobs. Or worse. And nothing's gonna happen to me. I promise you that. Who is it? Good morning, Logan. Morning. How am I meeting at the mill? I thought we'd get more done here, away from all those inquiring eyes. Take Brian to the mill with you. Dad, I'll meet you there later. Like in The Shining, he was in the picture at the end, so he was really there. So am I really here? Hey. What's going on? He showed up at the house. Who did? My dad's boss. Mr. Anderson. You said if you got... All we're asking for is a fair day's wage for a fair day's work. How can I tell the men not to strike? My dad's always saying things, stirring up problems at the mill. I mean, I think your father's doing what he... believes is the right thing to do. Oh, he thinks he can change the world. And I wish he'd just leave things alone. I'm a little worried for you, Logan. Your wife. Where's your father? Uh, don't move. I think he might have broke a rib. Is he all right? Yeah. Only because you showed up. I tried to tell them this would happen. You know, they never listened to me. Who's they? My mom. She was just like him. You know, she wouldn't go to the house, to the hospital after she cut her hand. Because she said it cost too much. And by the time they finally took her to the hospital. That must be why he's fighting so hard, so you don't have to worry about an affording medical treatment if you need it. Yeah, well, if he keeps us up, he's gonna get killed too. Jimmy, I know what it's like to lose one of your folks. It's important that he fight for what he believes is right, even if it means getting hurt in the process. Well, my dad's only one man. He's got a whole bunch of men ready to join him. Think about it, Jim. What's Anderson going to do if his entire workforce just stands him up? 